In this video, we're going to see how to calculate the confidence level multiplier or Z value for when we're doing confidence intervals on a single proportion. And we're going to do this with the TI-84. Um, on the TI-84, there's a, a distribution function in there in here that allows us to do that. So to get there, what we're going to do is we're going to press second and then go to the VARES button. You can see D-I-S-T-R above it. That stands for distribution. And the function that we're going to use in here is called the inverse norm. So I'll go ahead and select that. Some of you may have a newer uh, TI-84 that um, gives an option where it's left, center, or right. So if you choose left as the option for this, this will give you the correct confidence level multiplier for the left side of the confidence interval. So I'm just going to say I'm doing a 90% confidence interval. And so if I'm doing a 90% confidence interval, the area in the left and right tails are going to be 0 0.05. So the way it works is we have to give the cumulative area from the left if we choose that left option on the newer TI-84s. Um, otherwise, the calculator automatically assumes that this is the area from the left. So it's going to give me the negative confidence level multiplier. So that's going to be 0 0.05 if I'm doing a 90% confidence interval. We're always going to leave the mean as zero and the standard deviation is one for these. So we can leave those alone and then I'll go down to the paste option and hit paste. And you can see that it says inverse norm and it gives those three inputs. Those are the three inputs that we need. And then when I go ahead and select enter for this, it'll give me the confidence level multiplier. And you can see that that comes out to be a negative 1.6448536262. But generally, most uh, statistics tables or textbooks will round this to 1.645, and they'll only give the positive value of it, because remember, in the confidence interval, we're adding and subtracting that margin of error, so that, that negative sign on this one that we see right here is taken care of with the subtraction side of it. So this is how you can get that confident, or the confidence level multiplier for the Z value when we do the confidence interval on a single proportion.